I hope this video is going to address a fairly common problem people have encountered. You've gone and bought yourself a 8 16 gigabyte SD card, you put the debit image on it and you find that you've only got um, 2 gigs of usable space because that's the size of the debit image. So this video is going to show you how to reuse um, and reclaim the rest of that space on the drive. Bear in mind that what we're going to be doing is deleting the file structure which is going to be losing any sensitive data um, so you're going to want to back up anything before you proceed with this or ideally do this just after you've provisioned the SD card for the first time. So like I said I've got a 16 gig SD card in my Raspberry Pi but if I look at um, how the partition and how the file structure is laid out I've only got 2 gig available to me at the moment so we want to fill that extra 14 um, gigabytes of space. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the following command f disk minus uc slash dev slash what I'm going to get from here is mmc up to the okay if I now hit P, it's going to print the partition table and we can see that we have three partitions here. We have we have the first FAT32 um, partition which is used by um, the GPU it, for um, boot. We have the second partition here which is for the main um, bulk of the system and then we have a swap partition here. So you noticed I put in the fdisk command um, up to zero. We didn't need the partition one, partition two, or partition three because we're actually looking at the uh, multimedia card. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to delete the main bulk and then we're going to um, recreate it bigger and then we're going to uh, afterwards create a swap directory as well because it's always useful to have a little bit of swap. Okay. So what it's going to ask us to do is to um, use the command D to delete and I'm going to choose option 2 which is option 2 here. I'm then going to D for delete again and I'm going to op go for option 3 which is the swap partition. Okay, so I now need to recreate our second partition here, our bulk. I'm going to um, hit N for new and I need it to be a primary partition. This is really important, so I'm going to hit P um, for primary. And I'm then going to enter 2 because that was the number it had originally. So at this point here, it's asking us um, which part of the disk, which sector of the disk we want the uh, second partition to start at and it has to be exactly the same as what the original one was so you really need to make a record of this um, but as long, as long as you don't um, clear down your SSH session it should be there okay so we're going to enter that in and hit enter okay and it's now asking us um, where we want the end of it to be so we're just going to select the default because that will be the um, the maximum amount of the drive. So the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to do W which is going to um, commit those changes. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need to reboot the system. So now that we've logged back into the system we need to um, resize the uh, filing system so we need to run the command sudo resize 2fs forward slash dev mmc blk 0 2p now this could take a long long time so I'm going to put the minus P switch in the middle here which will give us a progress as we go. I'm going to have to pause the video at this point because this could take quite a few minutes. 
Okay, so now that the system's uh, finished resizing, we've uh, logged back in and we run our df command and we can see that we now have a root partition of 13 gig. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to create a swap file. Um, a little bit of swap is good, um, but not too much. So I'm going to create a swap file of 128 meg. So I'm now going to use the dd command to create a file called um, swap file of 128 meg. And this file is just going to be full of zeros. This may take a little bit of time depending on the speed of your SD card, um, but you're just going to have to let it run whilst it does its thing. Okay, so now that's done, we can move on to the next step. Okay, so we're now going to use the command make swap, which will set up the Linux swap area. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use the swap on file, which is going to enable um, files for paging and swapping. So we just allow this to uh, obviously select the file that we've chosen, slash file slash swap files. Okay, so this can take a little bit of time, so I'm going to um, pause the video and then reboot straight after it's finished. Now, a good thing to do now is to look at our um, file system files. So if we look at nano and we look at slash um, this file here, this um, SF tab is basically our file systems table and it shows us how everything's laid out. Now, um, the next time you reboot your box, this can all be um, reconfigured and will work perfectly fine. However, whilst we're in here, um, we can tidy things up a little bit and we can add a new line to remount the root partition. It's a slightly more efficient manner and, um, and I'll show you a link of how my um, SF tab will look. Okay, so let's go in here so we can actually edit it and uh, I'll delete all this information. Okay, so I'm just going to um, paste in what I had uh, made earlier. Okay, so the additional um, MMCBLK02P here and the uh, these two parameters here should speed things up somewhat. So now would be a good um, opportunity to reboot the system. So I'm just going to exit and save that and reboot. Oh. Yeah, pause it again so you don't have to wait. Now we can quickly check that the swap has been enabled. We can come in here and look at the top and we can see here that we have our swap files. If we look at a df minus h, this is how our file structure is going to look. We've got our 30 gig here, um, you know, at slack for slash, so roots, and um, hopefully that should allow you to have um, reclaimed all of your SD card for use. I've used a couple of different references, so I want to credit them in this video. Um, one was the YouTube channel Raspberry Pi Tutorials, which I'll put a link to here. And the one was a website called Project Dragons, which I'll put a link to here. 